Hey Earthlings, it's me Brianna. Oh, I got something in my eye. Oh God, what a mess. Oh. In today's video, I'm styling a chore jacket. And what's a chore jacket? So it's basically a jacket that has its origins in 19th century France. And basically it was meant for laborers such as farmers and railroad workers. Try and say railroad workers three times fast. Okay, I'm not waiting for you to do it, but I'm, I wanted to do it for y'all, you know what I'm saying? But I don't wanna embarrass myself. We need to have like a good rapport. Like, I don't want you to feel embarrassed for me. This jacket was meant to withstand the conditions that these people were working in. So it was made out of durable materials such as cotton or moleskin. And as we transitioned into, you know, the 21st century, basically there are so many different fabrics and materials that these jackets are made out of now. Um, in particular, I have on an Everlane chore jacket that is made out of corduroy and it is keeping me very warm in my very hot house. The chore jackets are characterized by uh, a few things. Uh, first are their deep, deep pockets, right? So the pockets are typically situated near the breast and they're also situated at your hips. And I think these pockets were meant for these workers at the time to make sure that they can keep whatever materials and things that they needed inside their pockets from like falling out very easily, such as maybe, you know, work tools or tobacco, um, maybe a pen. I don't know if they use pens. I'm pretty sure that, you know, 19th century, maybe they were using pens. History is not my strong suit, y'all. It's not. But it's also characterized by their loose fit. So chore jackets were meant to fit over different types of clothing that laborers would wear at that time, such as maybe work shirts, on occasion overalls as well. And it was just meant to have a loose fit. That way it wouldn't compromise their ability to move and work in those conditions. The brands that you'll see have chore jackets today are, you know, up and coming brands like Tradlands that I've seen. Um, there's also Carhartt um, and their chore jacket is characterized by a corduroy collar and it's very timeless, very simple, very fitting for that brand. There's also Everlane, the jacket that I have on today. And I felt inspired to show you all a few ways that I've styled this jacket and that I would actually wear in my day-to-day -day life and if you're curious about that let's go so for this look um i love that this jacket is like a honey golden brown and i wanted to pair that with this creamish on the lighter scale of brown chunky knit sweater that i recently thrifted from goodwill and they really work together i know that if it's like freezing outside that pairing these two items together would keep me very warm up top and then down below i added these tactical pants um, they're like a greenish grayish pant and basically i like that all of it is earthy all of it goes well together that there it makes sense and it flows um and i know for certain if i just put on a pair of like you know thermals or um high socks underneath these pants that i'd still be very warm because the pants are very durable um and it just feels like i'll be insulated in a little like clothing cocoon and then to keep it true to like trying to stay warm out here uh, i added a pair of my doc martens and if i were keeping it true to other things that I get cold that easily get cold to me I would probably put on a hat or a beanie of some sort um, just because my ears get cold very easily but you know that's look number one I wanted to see how this tone of brown would pair with a pair of my favorite sneakers in my closet which are red and black and they are the red ones and uh, basically with that in mind um, I decided to keep the tone simple uh, for my pants and brought out my tactical pants again. And I know that the brown in the jacket pairs well with the tactical pants. So therefore it just makes sense to keep that going. And then the shirt and my shoes, they obviously match each other. And um, I don't mind that so much. This is the most matchy matchy I think uh, I've done in quite some time. I think my mom would be proud. Hi mom. Um, and with that said, it's just uh, effortless. Is that a word? You know what I'm saying? I think that's a good compliment I can give to myself. Um, I just like things to look effortless, especially with sneakers. This look is all white everything. Is that how you say it? Everything, everything, everything. Yeah, all white everything. I don't know why, like I'm prone to spilling things. I really don't know why I keep insisting on letting all white happen to my life, but I'm just going with it. It's fine. This third look, I knew that um, 
white and this honey brown, golden brown, would complement each other pretty well. And I just feel like it was a look that was meant to happen. Um, I feel like I belong on a boat. I feel like I belong on a billionaire's arm. Um, and I have no regrets about this. Uh, the mules, I think, are like adding a bit of like art teacher to the vibe. And I'm okay with that too. Totally okay with that. A, ooh, I'm trying to picture it. An art teacher that meets a billionaire in art class. Okay, it, it doesn't work. I like how it comes together. I really do. I, I don't have any other words to say about it. Very simple, very to the point, this outfit. And um, yeah, let's move on to look number four. For this fourth look, I wanted to keep the same mock turtleneck that I had on in my previous look. And basically, since I knew that I wanted to see how this jacket would pair buttoned up uh, or buttoned all the way up, I felt like the turtleneck would at least give it something more visually stunning to look at. <laughs> visually stunning I, I don't know i just thought it would be very complimentary to buttoning up this jacket to at least have you know something going a little bit further up and then i decided to add in um, a wide leg pant and while the wide leg pant i feel is something that reminds me very much of the 70s as this chore jacket does i feel that it gives me a little bit more dimension i feel that it looks a little um a little better in comparison to maybe wearing something that's a straight leg or something like that. And then I decided to keep my Doc Martens on because why not? It's a cute little boot. And then I added in my APC half moon bag because I wanted y'all to see the vision, you know what I'm saying, that I have for the outfit. Um, and I hope y'all are feeling the vision. I hope that you like it. Um, and if you don't, that's okay. I like it. My final look, uh, I actually am wearing what I have on right now. And it is this pleated floral dress that I got from Buffalo Exchange in Las Vegas um, back in April. And it is one of my favorite, favorite dresses that I've bought like in my entire 26 years on this earth. I just love it so much. It, it, it reminds me like these pleats remind me of something that maybe like Bob Mackie would have made, you know, in the 70s during that time. It's just, it's so fun. I feel really beautiful in it. And I haven't found the right shoe that's deserving of this dress. But for now, I decided to pair it with uh, my all white leather Converse. I feel like I've spent more time talking about the dress. <laughs> I think that the floral in the dress, as well as the overall color, it's a creamish white color of this dress. The golden honey brown compliments it very beautifully and i i enjoy it i enjoy how i look in it and um i'm kind of sad that uh it's getting too cold to justify wearing a dress with pretty much bare legs and that's it um thank you so much for tuning in and watching and i hope you enjoyed hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed what i put together um and even if you didn't if you at least took in away some kind of ideas or maybe you're interested in getting a chore jacket of your own that's pretty cool you know i feel like i did my job if you like this video and you want to see more from me you want to hear more from me please subscribe comment let me know which look that you enjoyed or appreciated or drew some inspiration from i would love to know otherwise if there is a next time i'll see you next time do you try on all your nights like this i might <laughs>